you think that imagination is always like the product of a divided mind? Um, well, first of all, yes, imagination always belongs to a divided mind. There's me and what I'm imagining. That that's yes. <clears throat> that's separation. Imagination isn't always negative, but where we have become fallen is that um, imagination is the seed of our negativity. Because I imagine who I am dependent on what you feel about me. And if mm -hmm. you don't respond the way I see you responding, then my imagination compares what you're doing to how I think you should see me. And the next thing I know, I don't like you anymore. Or I'm trying to change you or control you to win your approval. So the whole idea of winning approval, being profitable according to whatever it is that you have been conditioned to believe makes you profitable. I mean, Carol, when you really think about it, you know, I, I'm, I'm talking about myself, but especially uh, up until probably in my, into my 40s. I'm 75 now. Uh, you, I, I thought all of these ideas about what had to happen so I can be happy, whole, and content, I thought they were my ideas. They were never my ideas, <laughs> ever. Uh -huh. I was born and raised, as all of us are, in a certain kind of environment, certain set of cultural norms, a set of financial expectations, a host of habits and traditions. And, and, and all of those, my parents, just as their parents, were molded by this society. And so here I, I, I accept as real that which never made my mother and father happy. God bless them. They were, I loved them dearly, but they were as dysfunctional as a clock that fell on the ground and shattered. They, they, they couldn't keep time. They were always back in time trying to make the life in the present moment represent what they were told life should be like. So all of that is grist for the mill and has to be seen as such. But it takes preparation. You can't, you can't just go, I'm an, uh, I love Christ, I love Buddha, I'm, I'm a, a little light bulb uh, in a dark room. All that is just sheer imagination. Get rid of the need to imagine yourself as anything, and you have entered into another order, an immortal order of being that is no longer divided the way this mind divides everything up into who I am and what I want and need to be holy, immortal. 